And the procedure that, and I've learned how to do it back in 1999, 20 years ago. And I can't uh, think how these 20 years have gone by. Aishreen Salat. Uh, I can't believe you. <laughs> Learning outcomes of this lecture is to know the indications of different osteotomies around the hip, whether the rotation, valgus, varus, or, com or combined combinations of these, how to plan degrees of correction by quantification of the deformity, and prerequisites for a successful osteotomy. The goal is to recenter the femoral head into the acetabulum. What the goal says, the femoral head goes to the acetabulum, and if you kill it, the centering of the femoral head into the acetabulum. And the with denotation of osteotomy, and mostly is to treat increased femoral antiversion. And retroversion is not very common, except on halat sufi or halat the congenital coxa now, mostly what we see is antiversion, which could be idiopathic. This should be treated surgically above the age of eight when the deformity is causing cosmetic and functional disability uh, and should be around 50 degrees of antiversion or maybe 40 to 50 when the prone internal rotation is around 80 degrees. Where the Dr. Zamil Amr Baltuti Sok, where that was like the medical can take. Craig's, uh, Craig's Craig's prominence test. This is how they present these children. You don't do anything at this age. He's too young to have anything done at this age. You wait until the age of eight or above when, when you start thinking of doing something. But someone may go to ask them to avoid the W position and to avoid the prone lying. Developing the prone lying down during sleep. Yeah. And this is how he looks when you do the internal rotation. He's got 90 degrees of internal rotation. Uh, increased femoral antiversion is also seen with hip dysplasia, and it could be seen also with the miserable malalignment syndrome associated with external anterior torsion. Sometimes they don't present with in -towing. They present like this young girl with vulgar stress in the knee. Also, the foot is straight, but there is vulgar stress in the knee. And this is also one presentation of increased femoral antiversion. And when you lie here on the prone on the bed, you see that the internal rotation is around 75 degrees. You internal and external rotate the leg with your thumb over the A, over the greater trochanter here. And when it's most prominent, the greater trochanter on the lateral side, you measure the angle between the leg and the vertical, as such. So the trochanter is very prominent on the lateral side. So this means that the neck of the femur is parallel to the bed or the horizontal. The angle is the angle of antiversion. The instruments you need for these procedures are two to three millimeter K wires. The appropriate triangle is to measure different angles which you want to correct. The pediatric blade plates, and this is the gold standard in these things. The 130 adolescent blade plate, the 90 child and adolescent blade plate with an offset to medialize the shaft. And you can see that it's different than the adult blade plate where the profile of the blade is T-shaped, not U-shaped. To show to you the halat al amilha zola shams in the profile with that U. The profile that that T in the reality available in Europe is a cannulated system. And with T the fee slot here Hot wire the DHS and hot for men with blade. Because this instrument without being cannulated is quite technically demanding. It is not easy to, 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 to insert. While then, man exceeding chisels, which have the same size as this one, and this have, has the same size as the other two. Okay? Preparation or insertion, that lay everything is moving all over the place. The femur is intact. You put your track with the seating chisel, 
And then after that, you plan your stones, you do your stones, and you've got the track for your blade to go in with your plate. Okay? But I'm not going to stand and do it prior to the osteotomy. In patient positioning is very, very important. I never use the fractional table or the traction table. I use an ordinary table. When ordinary table, the Vyasa and the Interpnaim and Ayan, they don't have to feel supine, but how to image intensifier where you get an AP view like this. You get a view like this with an AP. An image of Haraks, enter the Harak ring as man procedure to hot out the frog lateral. Right, I image seven from the camera of Haraks. But Halak, for full position that, better than that of lateral, frog lateral view, the two from Mazar. Okay? So the patient's leg move, the patient's leg moves, I move it myself with my assistant, but the image of his file is, is placed stationary in place. Haraks. If I'm Mazar killer, <coughs> when I do a derotation of stiltomy, I'm still in 130 blade plates. We could look at the in the and the I never thought of it. But I'm going to go to the next one. I'm going to go to the next one. I'm going I'm a time with seeking chisel placement of attack. I'm a time with an osteotomy of attack at lift for ring. When I lift for ring, I'll be a lift for ring is I'm a is a clinical test. And the trochanteric prominence test is 13, is 15, is 14, is 15, is 15, is 15, is 15, is 15. It is very reliable, this test, and it almost, it's almost like what you do with a CT scan. If you have a CT scan, we will push the ESO exact and we look at the values which are not reliable. So I'm going to do the metric problems test. Well, I want to take the, the, the femoral antiversion down to around 20 degrees. Now, normal at sleeping maturity is around average 16. When that CT comes out, I'm going to remodel that like my usual sleeping maturity in my time and I'm going to ask you about yourself. And why is it hot? One in the proximal femur, one in the distal femur, with the angle you want to correct. One in the proximal and distal, you start to the same muscle as the other. Show to the other, the other one that you want to correct. So enter our subterranean osteotomy. And then when you derotate, the ones are parallel to each other. And we see the ones that are like this, we have a regular left, the lower part, the left lower limb. And after the amount of correction, but it is straight, the foot is straight, and the ones are parallel. Okay? وده الأمانت الترد الروتيشن بعد العملية أقل بكتير من الناحية الثانية طبعاً و you only need skin traction مش محتاج هيك سبايكل يعني دول like this is a very very stable implant ده المنظر post optimally and you've derotated وفي الحالات دي you know you don't lateralize ولا medialize the shaft you have it يعني aligned with the proximal fragment و it is much more reliable than using an ordinary DCP where you have only يعني Two cortices, well, the cut that I meant to sort that way, but the four cortices best. And that's an I end that Muslim mother, you can change the blade plate you may have started the DCP that until the angulation rather more wood to the hip spike. This is very stable. I can allow them, yeah, to do non weight bearing mobilization in bed until around six weeks when they start to heal and then they can start weight bearing. Because you don't need a hip spike. وده المنظر اللي كان قبل العملية اللي بيعيشوا في internal rotation وده بعد العملية نزل around 50 degrees or more. الفارجس أستوتومي الأستوتومي نمرة 2 indicated in congenital or developmental coxavara other causes of coxavara with neck shaft angle less than 110 degrees زي non-united or sorry non-united neck femur على الطور طالق وده المنظر الكونجنتال كوكسوفارا when they present with the Hilgen Rhine زيال angle of less or more than 60 degrees وده الindication for surgery I mean 45 or 60 debatable but for 60 you have to correct it the goal is to take down the Hilgen Rhine زيال angle to around 30 degrees وده المنظر العينين دول the unilateral كوكسوفارا with supratrochanteric shortening دي حالة bilateral الهيجنايت بزيل الله انجل 80 دقيقة بالاترالي 
shaft angle 75 degrees. The Martin correction, you don't usually measure this next shaft angle. This is what you rely on, the Hilgenreil Fizier angle. With that manzal in Frog Latter and Tau, Dolby Moham is had to reversion, but we can undermine into the symmetric hip rotation and full flexion, and we can see retroversion. When CT scan we may like a defective ossification, just distant to the Fizier plate on both sides. With that right hip in maximum adduction, and you can see that the head has not you know, sort of rotated fully inside the acetabulum. So there's a limit to what you can do even by surgical treatment. The standard model is 130 degree blade plate, and the clitoral model is 150 degree on the shaft of the femur. The goal is to take it down to 40 degrees. And 40 degrees correction would be Sufficient with the Manila of Eid as the Ligon Rhyme of the Angle. Is there as much a feeling that that I can see Daga and I is a main Daga where I push it there at Sain? Okay, when I'm seeing it Sain, the plate will be sticking out here. If I had given the plate a la distant end of the field, this private of the femur, you've corrected this angle by 40 degrees. That manzar bad bones of surgery or ductal tonotomy. The neck shaft angle went up to 115 from 75, and the Hilgenite to Zell angle went down to 40 from 80. When the bad bones of surgery, you have to lateralize the shaft. Because if you don't lateralize the shaft, and this does not happen when you're using a DCP, whatever contour you get on a DCP, and the deep bulge in the ISO, you induce vulgar stress at the knee, and they end up with a bulge deformity. The of that and the blade plate there, and it helps you to lateralize the shaft so that you maintain a normal mechanical axis. Uh, then lateral down, we deal by lateral, yeah, the, uh, both hips done. With all, this improves very much the range of abduction in these children. In older children, if coxavara is associated with hip abductor weakness, bad osteotomy, you have to go for trochanteric apophysiodesis. And in adolescence, trochanteric overgrowth after bulbous osteotomy should be treated by distant and lateral transfer of the greater trochanter. The third osteotomy is the varus osteotomy. And you can see the difference between this plate and the other plate, the 130, because there's an offset, there's a medial offset. The difference between this line of the plate and this line of the plate. We'll measure that and offset that and it medializes the shaft again to maintain a proper mechanical axis, otherwise you'll get virus deformity of the knee. Indicated in hip dysplasia, Perth's disease, without the shell to follow a local soap, in Perth's disease don't do a virus osteotomy except if you've got a very good range of abduction, especially in females. Because when you do a virus osteotomy and an adduction osteotomy, you will limit further the, the abduction. That's why the creation of abduction quite slowly until the time of the osteotomy. The prerequisites for success are a hip joint which is reduced in abduction and inter with or without internal rotation and a wide range of abduction. Uh, the next shaft angle could be taken down to 105 in patients younger than six because even after doing a bulbous osteotomy, they still go into bulbous. But in all the children and adolescents, uh, as you sorry, but the coach next shaft angle down to less than 120 degrees, otherwise you will end up with an abductor abduct burst and a turn the door gate. In a planning model, planning in a is very, very important. أنت بدل ما تحطها بزاوية 90 درجة بقى أنت عايز تحطها بزاوية أقل من 90 يعني أنت لو عايز تجيب فالنس 20 ديجريز بدل ما تحط بزاوية 90 درجة هتحطها بزاوية إيه؟ يا رب أنا قلت أنتوا ركزوا معايا في الفترة اللي فاتت تمام؟ بحيث إن أنا لما أحط البليت بتاعي هنا البليت هيبقى هنا يبقى لما اجيب الشفط عليه هيبقى اتشيف ذا 20 ديجريز اي وونت تو اتشيف 
ودي حالة كان عندها increased femoral anti-version of motion in towing ومع subluxation more on the right and the left the next shaft angle 150 degrees وزي ما انتم شايفين بتعطيك لما بيكون معاك increased femoral anti-version you have to get x-rays with internal rotation عشان تخفي lesser to counter as much as you can so you get the true neck shaft angle With that abduction of internal rotation, and you can see that the hip is better reduced in this position. With that, it planned, you know, the osteotomy, when you have 10 20 degrees internal uh, abduction, you will get the hip concentrically reduced in that sort of position. But the best of all is that you have to to contract 20 degrees varus, with 20 degrees external derotation osteotomy, but with the contract common stress. والعيادة دي ضارب من 20 ديز فالوس بس قعدت يمكن سنة سنة ونص عندها صوت مكان البرج جيت. They take a long time to recover from this. وده بعد السيرجري. وده 130 ديجري نيك شافت انجل بايلاترالي. دي حالة ثانية عندها بايلاترال ديسبلايزيا. انتوا شايفين الامونت اوف سبلاكسيشن اللي موجود هنا هنا. وديفيشنت كفرج انتيريالي. الاستابل اندكس النورمال بتاع الايج ده 15 ديجريز هنا 28 هنا 22 الهيب از بيتر ريديوس مع الابدكشن والانترنال روتيشن ذيس از افتر دوينج ا فارس دي روتيشن اوستيوتومي بيسايدز ا ديج اوستيوتومي ان ذيس كيسز سام تايمز يو نيد تو دو سمثينج اون ذا بيلفيك سايد تو جيت يور هيب ويل ويل سنترد ويل ريديوس ويل كفرد ده بعد تقريبا ثلاث سنين من العملية and you can see the amount of coverage has improved when you look at the right side the left side نفس الحكاية you can involve the amount of balls in the hand after the sin as well وده ال anterior coverage improved برضو after surgery الحمد لله and this is the girl cross leg negative trend with both bilaterally طبعا دلوقتي in non-ambulant cerebral palsy children who are very very osteoporotic you have the locked plate في مخصوص pediatric locked plate with again an offset a medial offset عشان to maintain the proper mechanical axis عشان في الأوفسيت بتاع البلايت ده locked plate وطبعا sometimes زي ما قلنا you need to do a proper dig osteotomy to cover the head anteriorly وده يعني at the end of the procedure a dagger osteotomy up here and a derotation varus osteotomy down on the femoral side the take home message is in proximal femoral osteotomies pre-optic planning is mandatory to arrive at the desired correction the pediatric blade plate is a tough implant which provides adequate stability to allow early post-optic mobilization the 130 blade plate could be used for derotation and vulgus while the 90-degree blade plate is used for virus osteotomies. Thank you very much.